Right, good morning, folks, and welcome to another episode of 162 Times, your daily baseball recap and preview show. I'm your host, Daniel Turner. It's really good to be with you here. Uh, we took Canada Day off, um, July 1st, that is, because we wanted to celebrate the great country of Canada. And uh, so happy birthday to Canada, And um, but we are back at it. And so we will be bringing you the scores from Sunday between the Mariners and the Twins from Seattle and around the league as well. We will also tee up the series that starts against Baltimore beginning tonight, and we will do our divisional recap. So let's get right to it. On Sunday, the Mariners played the rubber match between themselves and the Minnesota Twins, and they fell 5-3 overall. Um, It was, therefore, the fourth straight series loss for the Mariners. They're now 47 and 39, still first in their division. The Twins are 47 and 37, second in the American League Central. The wind went to um, Cole Sands, the reliever. He's 3 and 1, 4.21 ERA. Loss went to Ryan Stanek, 5 and 2 now with a 3.78 ERA. And uh, Duran, Jonathan, Joan, Joan Duran, his 12th save of the year, 3.51 on the ERA. Starting pitcher Luis Castillo went five innings, six hits, three earned runs, three Ks. Uh, on the other side of things, Minnesota pitcher Joe Ryan went five and two-thirds, six hits, two runs, one earned, ten strikeouts. Um, and the only interesting thing there is that the Twins' bullpen only struck out one further Mariner. So 11 strikeouts on the night for the Twins, six for the M's pitchers. Uh, Ryan went 99 pitches, Castillo only went 77, so he was efficient somewhat in that section. In terms of scoring, uh, it was Trevor Larnick singling in Willie Castro in the first, then top five, Austin Martin doubled Max Kepler home, 2 nothing Minnesota. Jose Miranda singled Austin Martin in in the Top of the fifth again, so three three nothing Minnesota at that point. Bottom of five, um, Mariners challenge a tag play. The call on the field was overturned. Julio Rodriguez reaches on a fielder's choice, fielded by pitcher Joe Ryan. Dylan Moore scores. Josh Rojas to second, fielding error by pitcher Joe Ryan. Okay, three one after all that complicated stuff. Then Luke Rayleigh singled, scoring Josh Rojas. Julio went to third. 3-2. Bottom of 7, Jorge Polanco singled in Luke Rayleigh, ties the game. But top 8, Trevor Larnack again, home run, scoring Jose Miranda 5-3, your final at that point. Uh, and that was Ryan Stanek who gave up that two-run shot, unfortunately. Otherwise, the bullpen was good. It was both Bauman, Stanek, Thornton. Um, but they just could not get the job done. All right, so... Around the majors on Sunday, and we'll also do the Monday scores, uh, bad news sort of for the Mariners in the sense that the Astros beat the Mets 10-5, to and the Rangers beat the Orioles 11-2. Otherwise, it was the D-backs over the Athletics 5-1, the Tigers over the Angels 7-6, the Giants over the Dodgers 10-4, the Cards over the Reds 2-0, the Brewers over the Cubs 7-1. The Rays over the Nationals, 5-0. The Royals over the Guardians, 6-2. The Rockies over the White Sox, 5-4. The Yanks over the Blue Jays, 8-1. The Phillies over the Marlins, 7-6. The Red Sox, 4. The Padres, 1. And the Pirates, 4. The Braves, 2. On Canada Day, Monday, there was only three games. So it was the Astros over the Blue Jays, 3-1. Thanks a lot, Toronto. Mets over the Nats, 7-9. 9-7, pardon me. And the Rockies over the Brewers, 8-7. So that's where we're at there. Uh, and then in terms of today, well, we have a Orioles-Mariners matchup. So it's George Kirby, Raja Rai, 7-5, 3.35 ERA. He'll be going up against uh, G. Rodriguez, Grayson Rodriguez. Man from Houston, he's 9-3 and three this season, 3.72 ERA, 1.24 whip. A few more strikeouts than innings pitch, so he's a pretty good pitcher. Should be a, should be a really fine game, um, and then uh, we've got. I think we've got most of the horses going, so we'll have Logan the next night. Should be yeah, Logan. Not sure who's going to pitch for Baltimore yet. And then on July fourth, on Independence Day, it's.
it's Bryce Miller, 6 and 7, 3.88 against TBD. So, great week of baseball ahead in that regard. And then before we let you go, we are going to just look at the standings. Um, so, in the Hog Division, a bit of a change. It's now 53 and 31 Baltimore Orioles leading the division. They're tied with the Yankees at the moment. They have a plus 112 differential. Yankees are 54 and 32. Plus 101. Red Sox 44 and 39 plus 30. Rays 42 and 42 minus 56. And Jays 38 and 46 minus 53. In the American League Central, Guardians still on top by six games, 52 and 30. Followed by the Twins at 47 and 37. Then the Royals 47 and 39. Then the Tigers 15 games back of the lead, 38 and 46. And the White Sox 30 games back of the lead in the division, 24 and 62 with a minus 162 run differential. Those White Sox. Now, the only division that matters, the Mariners cling to a three-game lead in the division, 47-39, and 3-7 and seven in their last 10, lost two in a row, plus six on the differential. Second-place team is Houston, 43-41, and 9-1 and one in their last 10. They've won three in a row and a plus 35 run differential. Oh, my God, this is my nightmare come to life. Uh, the Rangers are falling off, 38-46, and 46, eight games back at Seattle, minus 10. Then the Angels, nine and a half back. At 36 and 47, minus 64. Oakland is 30 and 56, minus 108. In the National League, the Phillies still lead the East, 55 and 29, uh, 121 on the plus side of the run differential. The Atlanta Braves are in second place, eight games behind, 46 and 36. Then the Mets at 41 and 41. The Nats at 39 and 45. The Marlins at 30 and 50. Four Marlins minus 126 on the differential. American League Central still led by the Brewers. 50 and 35, they are six games up on second place St. Louis, who's 33, 43 and 40. Then it's the Pirates at 40 and 43, the Reds at 39 and 45, and the Cubs at 39 and 46. So the Cardinals starting to make some separation in the division. The Reds are still the only team other than the Brewers with a positive run differential. In the National League West, the Los Angeles Dodgers, 52 and 33. Plus 119 on the differential. They are 7.5 up on San Diego, 46 and 42, plus 34. Then it's the Diamondbacks at 41 and 43, and the Giants at 41 and 44, followed by the Rockies at 29 and 55. So the worst team in baseball is still the Chicago White Sox. The best team in baseball is the Philadelphia Phillies, followed very closely by the Dodgers and possibly the Orioles. And the Rockies are the worst team in the National League. All right, folks, we got through a big one quite quickly. Thanks. Have a great day.